Joyful Love. So this song is one of my favorite songs. It's so, so special to me. And this song, the message of the song, the core message is speak up, speak out, speak your truth, speak from your heart, speak from your soul, speak with love, speak with kindness, speak with joy. Um, I believe all of us are love. I believe we're made of love. I believe we are joy. I believe we were all put on earth to seek joy and be the joyful beings that we are. So when you sometimes, I know for myself that I sometimes try to mask my words a little bit to be protective of other people and keep these good relationships that I have with other people. But I believe now that if you can speak from an authentic place with love, and with true kindness and from your heart, it can deepen and enhance and create even more loving relationships with other people. So you can honor yourself and you can honor them when you speak up and speak out. It's all possible. Um, when I wrote the song, I kind of wrote it as a love song to this other person that I was totally adoring. And for me, nature is the highest form of joy. So it was so easy for me to include nature in the song. And in the chorus, um, the lyrics are, I will love you deeper than an ocean, stronger than a river raging by. I will love you longer than a mountain rises up from the sands of time. I will not hide, I will not hide from this joyful love in your eyes. So I wrote it just as this letter of I will love you forever. I will love you for all eternity. Even if we're not in a relationship together, I still will have this abiding, wonderful love for you forever and ever and ever. Because I believe when you love someone, that love kind of lasts forever, no matter if you're in a relationship or not. I also realized, actually though, after writing the song, that yes, it was for this other person, um, and it's also for everyone, because I try my best to, to radiate love as much as I can every day, but I realized it was also a letter to myself. It was a love letter to myself and a love letter to my own soul and how much I love myself and I'm gonna love you the rest of my life. And uh, I know for myself, I can be so, so hard on myself. I can beat myself up so much sometimes and be so self-critical. And this was kind of a reminder to myself that I love you and be kind to yourself, be nicer to yourself, show yourself a little more love. You deserve all this love. You can be nice to yourself. So it's, it was all about showing love to yourself and to other people and also the I will not hide from this joyful love in your eyes. Sometimes, I know for myself, I've put on masks and veils and I've been afraid to receive all this love from someone else. And even to, um, I've been afraid to show all this love to myself and I put on masks within myself to kind of stop all this love from flowing. So it was sort of like an announcement and an affirmation that I will be fully present to receive all this love and to give all this love and I'm gonna be authentic and be the truest self I am and the highest expression of myself, which is, which is love. So I'm here to receive and to give love and be my, be my highest self, which is love. So being present to the love that we all are and all have to give. Um, a really kind of personal thing about this song is when I wrote the song, I wrote this super high, rangy part in the chorus. The, the song kind of flowed right through and so it was this like very belty part for the I will not hide from this joyful love in your eyes in the chorus. And I was listening back and I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna sing this in the studio? It's so hard to sing, it's so rangy and it's so belty. And I considered changing the music and changing the whole song just to kind of make it easier on myself. But I like to honor the songs as I write them and, and just kind of flow with that, not second guess myself. So instead, I decided to take heart, take courage and talk myself into believing and to believe that I could sing this super high rangy part in the chorus and I would practice every day and trust and believe that I could sing it when the time came. So every day I practiced the super high rangy part for the I will not hide and I believed I could do it. And when the day came to sing this part in the studio, quote unquote, the day of reckoning, um, I did it, I sang it, I was able to do it. To my surprise and delight and my amazement, I sang this super high belty part, which I once thought was virtually impossible to do. So that goes to show that any dream you have, if you believe in it, it's possible. You can do it, I did it. So believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, follow your dreams, it's all possible. So anyway, that's Joyful Love. It's a song all about expressing our joyful love and the selves that we are, the highest selves that we are, having courage and heart and authenticity and being 
full of integrity and kindness to speak our truths out to other people and to ourselves, to honor our true feelings and just to be the love that we are and to make that an intention every day. Just, I make it an intention every day. I don't know if I always succeed, but I try to radiate love as much as I can to myself and to other people and just to be the love that I believe that we are. So that's Joyful Love. It's such a special song to me. It means so much to me. I meant every word I wrote and every word I sang and played. So I hope, I hope it reaches you and connects to you and touches you in some way. So thank you so much. That's Joyful Love.